There is beer, and then there's craft beer. Well, the beer industry has been exploding since the early 90s. And uh, I can say this because I'm from here. Um, it takes a while for really cool, progressive things to get to East Tennessee. Uh, and it took a while for the craft beer industry to get to Tennessee and in the, in the South in general. Yeah, we're well on our way. If you look at what's happening across the border in North Carolina, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of beer culture being uh, created. Uh, Southeast in general is playing catch up, which uh, is fun for me. I tell people, I used to tell people that uh, I moved from California to the South to do missionary work in the craft brewing industry, kind of tongue in cheek, but it's actually true. I'm really kind of spreading the good word and helping to add to the culture and, and to the equation, but make sure that you know, the quality uh, stays high and that's where uh, the South College program comes in. I've been involved in the beer industry for, for a few years uh, and I saw that this industry was exploding in the United States, the craft beer industry exploding uh, in this country and started looking at where were the brewers getting trained or how were they getting trained. And I discovered that there was a school in Chicago and a school on the West Coast. And that predominantly that was the only schools. And then looking a little bit further, there was up to a three year waiting list for those two schools. So I thought, do we need something in the South? I thought we did. We don't lose any of our conditioning. One of my friends from home lived in Austin, Texas, moved out there with him and it was opening the brew, it was kind of his dream. And he was home brewing, kind of started me on it, showed me how to do it. I moved to Asheville with him and his wife. We were doing home brewing there. And then uh, school came around. And we kind of figured if we're going to do it, we might as well have the education. So I came here for that, and we're going to go from there. The beer scene is coming here. It's, it's already hit all over the place, and it's now coming to the southeast. And I'm from here, so being able to stick around here and have the education to do it meant a lot. Most uh, brewing uh, schools in the United States, you have to be at least 21. And uh, there's a long you know, waiting list. I found South College, and you know, there's, it's a new program, so you know, they're eager to have a bunch of new students. I'm actually in uh, Hartford, uh, Connecticut, doing a post-grad year and internship at a brewery in Bloomfield, Connecticut, and uh, enjoying it very much. After making beer a while, I just, the, the interest just kept you know, evolving and getting bigger, and you know, through the reading, it, I saw relations between science and brewing and that, you know, opened up a whole, you know, new idea for, you know, how to relate science to something I was interested in. I, I think it elevates the industry as a whole just for the fact that there are certificates available in, to uh, become a professional brewer um, and gives um, the industry, a, you know, sort of a higher status um, all around. Yeah, there is a great need uh, in the industry for um, educational uh, resources uh, with thousand, a thousand more breweries coming on and literally thousands of, of new brewers going to be needed. Uh, right now there's only a couple of options, so we're trying to provide um, you know, a very comprehensive program to service that. Uh, there's a wait on some of the more established institutions, so hopefully this will take a, a little bit of the pressure off of that. And uh, really when I started in the late 70s, it was kind of dismal in the States as far as beer was concerned. There wasn't a lot of variety. And uh, now, short 25 years later, uh, we're the leader on the planet and beer diversity and innovation and it's being driven by these very passionate uh, brewers that sometimes just need uh, that technical background to make sure that their passion translates to the, the public and the uh, consumer. Learning to brew beer is a is very scientific endeavor. Um, of all the alcoholic beverage production processes, brewing beer is the most complicated. It has the most steps, the most mistakes can be made, uh, including getting other microbes in the beer that you don't want or contamination. When that happens, then your beer is ruined or it doesn't taste like it did before. Uh, so it's an extremely complicated process. In addition to just the process itself, you have to understand how the machinery works um, and so we have classes in physics and then fluid dynamics which is basically uh, engineering studying how liquids move around and pressures and things like that so um, not only do you learn how to brew beer but a brewmaster know, needs to know how to fix this equipment and what's wrong with it because equipment something will happen and so we're teaching them that also. I thought I knew a lot about it until I came here and 
the science behind it, uh, fluid dynamics, chemistry, math, all these different things that I had no idea would be a part of it, but that can help make it that much better. I mean, you can make a beer, but if you know all the education and the dynamics behind it, you can make it as good as you want. I think we've set the bar really high with this first class, and I expect the rest of the classes to be similar to this. I've been so impressed with really how smart these students are. I mean, they're dedicated, they're passionate because they're putting, a lot of them putting their life on hold. They've got families or they've moved here from different parts of the United States uh, for six months. Uh, and so it takes lots of sacrifice. But my students, I, I'll tell this to anybody, and I've told it before, they could be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, they could be anything they wanted to do. They are extremely bright set of students. We've seen this program two years ago. It was an idea and it took a while to convince uh, the folks that we needed this program, but once we did our due diligence and understanding it is a need, it a actually is a scientific, complicated endeavor that takes um, really technical training, and the demand for brewers is there, particularly in the South. And then seeing that happen and then bringing my first class in, it's, it's going to be like having 15 kids and, and we're sending them away. So it's going to be really Really cool to see that. All these big breweries are moving out to the East Coast. You got New Belgium, Sierra Nevada, Stone is looking to come out here. So the time is right here. Everyone else is already doing their own thing. So for the Southeast and the East Coast to get into it, it's a good time.